What is up my friends? Welcome back to another video. And today let's talk about the Ryan Tedder monthly class. So you've probably heard of Ryan Tedder. He's the lead singer of One Republic. He's written a lot of hit songs for other artists as well. So when this class was announced, I think a lot of people were really excited to check out his process and see the way he approaches songwriting in general. And I was certainly one of those people because I'm always happy to learn about new pop techniques and all of that stuff from the very best in the industry. So in case you're kind of wondering about the class itself, we'll talk about that. But if you are set on picking it up and you want a little bit of a discount, I can give you a $20 discount if you want to use my link in the description box below. It doesn't cost you anything extra. In fact, again, it gives you that $20 discount and it will also put us in the same peer group. So when the class is next opened, um, when you have those assignments to follow, uh, basically it'll put us in the same peer group so we can both submit stuff and we can talk with each other. And there's a whole other group of people that you can also interact with and hear their feedback and uh, hear their music as well. So. Again, if you want a $20 discount, then use my link to sign up for the class. Anyway, let's talk about the platform a little bit first, the monthly platform. So it's pretty interesting, right? Um, because the way they approach their classes is over like a 30 day period. So the instructor has all these pre recorded videos that they've already uh, prepared for us. And then those are dripped out over the course of the 30 days. Now, in between those videos, you're going to have assignments that you have to complete, and then you submit it to your peer group where you can all look it over and give feedback to each other, which is really nice. And occasionally, the instructor will also pop in and give their own feedback and kind of interact with the students as well. And specifically in this Ryan Tedder class, I believe Ryan did come in and say, and, um, you know, talk with a couple of students, which is really nice. However, I didn't get a personal response from him. Um, at the same time, I didn't interact too much myself because I was also working on some other projects. But uh, as far as I'm aware, I don't believe that the artists will continuously come in and, uh, you know, um, interact with the students because they probably have a very busy schedule as well. So if you are going into the class expecting to interact with the um, instructor on a regular basis, that's probably not going to happen just to be completely honest, because again, they're probably really busy people and they have lots of stuff to do and you're mainly enrolling in the course to give yourself accountability, but also learning how their process works, you know, through the pre-recorded -pre videos. So just a little disclaimer in case you are wondering about the, the way the platform structures the classes. Anyway, let's dive into the way the actual uh, masterclass or the course itself is laid out. So Ryan Tedder has a very approachable personality, I think. The fact that he's written a lot of songs over the years that have been number one hits and so on, um, really gives him a lot of credibility to stand on. And so when he's talking, you you know he knows what he's talking about and he's he'll very clearly admit what he's great at and what he's not so good at. So things that he's really good at are writing instantly memorable melodies, knowing exactly what chords can fit within, you know, what melodies and so on and so forth and kind of spitballing new lyrics just by humming new melodies over and over again. And those are kind of like the general methods that he says most hit songwriters will use. Now, some things he claims that he's not as good at is knowing all the music theory, which makes a lot of sense because if you know tons and tons of music theory, like Jacob Collier, for example, um, he's like, uh, Ryan says you can get in your own way very easily, which I think is very true. And he says a quote, which I really like, and he's like, uh, make sure you suck just enough, you know? So make sure you don't know all the stuff so that you don't overthink stuff and get in your own way while you're writing your own music. So sucking just enough should be what we're aiming for. And I certainly don't know all the music theory. I, I feel like I know enough to help people and teach people and also write my own music and know what I'm doing. But honestly, there really is no need to know every single piece of music theory in the world, right? Because all, you, all you're all really trying to do is just write music that connects with people and yourself. And that, that's all that really matters. Um, and I think another interesting spin to this class in general, this course, is that Ryan spends a portion of it talking about collaborating with another artist. And the third song he writes in this class is all about writing with another artist, which he shows us in the process, which I think is really, really cool. And we'll talk about that a little bit. But generally, Ryan uh, basically encourages us to be really open to every every everyday conversations, pick up on things um, that could turn into song ideas, and just be really receptive to our surroundings in general. So that's kind of a big ethos that he talks about. Generally, when writing melodies, um, he considers melody king, like it's the most important thing on a song, and I totally agree with that. 
because that's something that everyone will go away remembering. And that's also the one thing he feels like he can't really quantify and put into words how he writes a catchy melody. He basically just, you know, hum something or if, he, if, he, if he's already written a chord progression, he'll basically just think of stuff until a melody hits him and then he'll lay that out and then add lyrics and production on top of that. But listening to a lot of music and incorporating your own musical influences together into a piece of music, that's kind of how you would generally write melodies in kind of his perspective. So that's really nice. Um, I also really appreciated his approach to writing lyrics. And I think writing lyrics is hard for a lot of people who are not natural lyric writers or um, English speakers, let's say. But he kind of talks about how the song makes us feel and the vibe that we're getting from the music and then kind of establishing a, a theme and a lyric from that. So once we kind of start to write the lyrics, we should be able to read the lyrics from top to bottom and make sure it reads like a complete story and it should all make sense together. So it should be basically a more colorful way of telling the basic human experience and telling a story rather than being just gibberish. So Ryan definitely believes in having good lyrics that stand on their own, even without the music. Now, when it comes to recording vocals, what he does in his songs is um, he'll, he'll basically show us the different uh, recording techniques, the position of the microphone, talks about the different microphone types, and then he'll go through and record his own vocals for some scratch stuff. And it's really cool because you see the processing chain that he uses. He loves CLA vocals, uh, Chris Lord Algae vocals, that, that plugin. He uses that a lot. And then uh, compression as well and all of that stuff, you know? But he, it, it's really good to see him showing these fundamental techniques to approach as a producer and making sure like frequencies don't fight with each other, making sure each layer of instrumentation makes sense and that, that it's not fighting with anything else. Um, and also as a producer, he likes to add a consistently new element every four to eight bars to make sure that the interest is still there and then he basically keeps that element going throughout the rest of the song just so by the end you have a lot of stacks going on and it sounds really full and rich whereas at the beginning it's more sparse so there's contrast there and a lot of tension and release which is very important in songwriting and ryan covers that as well tension and release but let, let me quickly talk about the third part so the collaboration aspect um, this is something that I don't have as much experience in because I personally love writing music uh, by myself. I just love having the full creative control. So I definitely want to go more into collaboration when I'm, when I'm ready for that. Um, but basically, you get to see in this portion how he interacts with the artist. His name is Clay. And they have a great energy together. You see like Ryan encouraging uh, Clay and Clay gives you... Uh, performs these basic scratch ideas and they kind of di di uh, discuss what, whether they like that together or not. Um, but Ryan usually takes the lead and offers lots of suggestions. And Clay usually vibes with it and, and agrees and they kind of work out something together. Uh, I think Ryan is a very receptive, I think he's very um, an intuitive guy. And he'll basically see whether that person is more of an outgoing personality or maybe slightly more reserved. And he'll fit himself to that person's personality so they kind of uh you know cl come together in a very natural way and a very productive way so because clay i think it feels to me he's a little bit more reserved and more pulled back you know as a, as a human being so i feel like ryan uh is allowed to be more outgoing and he's he is able to offer more suggestions and he offers a healthy dose of compliments as well like at one point you see clay play playing a tambourine back and forth super in time and then after the recording Ryan is like dang your playing is like super on time you were always in the pocket and then Clay's like oh thank you like drums are my thing and then it, it just boosts his morale right and it, it enables him to perform even better when he's performing the final scratch or um you know the vocals uh for Clay so it's really interesting to see the dynamic between two people and how it can all work together to create a beautiful song uh beautiful piece of music but yeah, that, that was a really great um, class to see in general, watching Ryan go over kind of two separate types of songs, one focusing more on the songwriting, the second one more on the production itself, and then the final one going over songwriting and creating and producing with an actual artist. Um, that was fantastic to watch as well. But yeah, generally, I, I, I really enjoyed the class. 
and let me know if you have any specific questions about that. Again, the format of the class is over 30 days with assignments in between. So if you like that accountability, then this will be the sort of thing you want to sign up for. If you prefer to just do it on your own and not do the assignments, that's totally fine as well because you have lifetime access to the videos. So you just want to make sure that um, you know what you're getting into when you sign up for the class. And uh, just know that the instructor will not be there every single day interacting with you because they're probably very, very busy. But just that um, you have your own peer group that you can interact with and also encourage and support one another as well. So just keep that in mind. But yeah, if you want to sign up, feel free to grab the 20% or sorry, $20 discount by using my link below in the description. You'll see it right there and you can sign up and we can be in the same peer group together. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know again if you have any questions, just leave a comment below and I will try to help you out as much as I can. But take care. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.